the community. Good morning. I was just sleeping. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't sleep last night. I didn't go to sleep till about six o'clock this morning, and then I I fell asleep at about six o'clock this morning, so I forgot to put my mouth guard in, and then I was biting and clenching and woke up at 8 o'clock because I was in pain, so. And then I just had my mouth guard in and I fell asleep on purpose, so I remembered to put it in this time. Yay! Yeah. So, I got everybody's Christmas cards colored. I got a one extra colored, so if anybody else wants to get involved so far, I got one extra. And, uh, just got to get them all mailed out. And I was going to color today, but I'm so tired. So tired. Kevin looked at that tree outside, and didn't you say it's split or something? It's not split. It has a fork in it about a third of the way up. And uh, I don't know, maybe we just haven't been paying attention to it. I hate those trees anyway. I'd rather so they were I. gone. But um, yeah, they're cypress trees. They smell pretty good. They're not that dirty but as trees go. But they also block our part of our um, solar panels, don't they? Uh, at certain times of the year they do. Yeah. So, but yeah, but I'd like to take them out. But we can't afford to do that. And... They, I don't know. Maybe we're just not paying attention. If they're forks, it's going to grow away. So, but I who knows? just never recognized them. I didn't notice it before. Yeah. But I went. But it's like you said, we might not have been paying attention. So, I think it's all Angel's fault. Yeah, sure. no, it's not my fault. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> okay. So today I'm going to continue to do what I'm doing in the garage. And um, I, I wanted to do an inventory of uh, the uh, wood that I have in the garage. I have it up on a wall. And, uh, d and throw away, cut up and throw away what is junk. Because uh, I have a tendency to save, save everything. Save everything? So. Like a hoarder? We do have a nice piece of wood over here. I got to show it to Kirsty tonight. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that's going to be big enough for both signs. It might yeah. be big enough for one. We'll see. But um, she stopped by earlier today, and uh, she's going to be by later again tonight. So I will uh, show her that piece of wood and see if that's what she is looking for and then Kevin is going to make her some signs for the horses stalls. Yay. All right, so I'm on my way to the post office to get uh, Val's uh, cards out that she wanted to send people to color. So we'll make sure we get them out as quickly as possible. This is the earliest that I can do it. Uh, just barely enough money to pay for it and uh, so check their post office box while I'm there did get some stuff done today I uh, went through all my wood did a wood inventory in my garage to throw, in order to throw away more stuff it's just taking up space that I tend to uh, save everything so, so uh, I will see what we have at the post office. So anyway, Kevin spent one up. So anyway, Kevin went to the post office and I've been getting a phone call all morning from this same number in Alfred, New York. And I don't usually answer numbers that I don't know. But they've been they called me like five times today already. And they've left me messages. And finally I decided, all right, let me answer this call. So I answer this call, and, it, and it's a recording saying, 
you need to call us back immediately. There is a warrant out for your arrest. Okay, why would there be a warrant out for my arrest? So I call the number back and they said that there's a warrant out for my arrest for an IRS debt. And I kept telling the lady, I can hardly hear you. Can you speak up? And she says, what is your name? So I told her my name and what is your telephone number? And I told her my telephone number and I'm thinking to myself, you called me, you should have my name and telephone number. Yeah. And, um, so she said, can you hear me now? And I said, yes. And that yes. is one thing I never do is say yes on a telephone call. And with me not feeling well, I'm not completely it with all my wits right now. And I said yes, which is a stupid thing for me to do. And she says, is your husband's name Kevin? And I was like, why would there be an arrest out for me for the IRS debt? I am completely disabled. And then she asked me another question. I said, I cannot hear you. And she hung up on me. And I called Kevin in a panic. I'm like, what in the heck is going on? And he just came home and he showed me some videos on YouTube. Yeah. On YouTube. I guess there is a scam going on with people, like, calling and saying they're, that they owe all this money to the IRS and uh, go to your local store and you can send them money through... Uh, Winn-Dixie. Win Dixie or MoneyGrams or whatever. Yeah. So. And uh, yeah, so they're scamming people, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm completely disabled. I I don't owe the IRS anything, so I know you know this is a bunch of balaki. She asked me if I ho heard from the local police yet. I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah. So you know, I called Kevin in a panic, and he's like, Oh, don't worry about it. You're being scammed. So, yeah, you still so. probably gave them too much information as it is. They'll probably call back since well, they I have their name their and number. number. So, well, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, if anybody else, that's that's a pretty big phishing scam. Because they would just give you a, they'll fa call you with a, call, call this number. Yeah, that's what they did. That way they don't have to have your name. They don't have to have anything because you're calling them back. And, and they're saying, well, you know, there's a lot that... They, they get their near name and now they have your phone number and they have you saying yes so that's that's a little concerning but uh, yeah the IRS does not send you emails the IRS does not send you calls like that they will if you have issues with the IRS they will send it to you certified mail yeah <laughs> that's how they send it so. so and if the, the police has a police warrant for you they're not going to call you and say well we're going to come and get, arrest you right now <laughs> so yeah that doesn't happen either they but just... i never say yes when i when i talk to a number that i never know you know i never they say is this valerie mclean and i'll like what is this in regards to i never say yes and i'm just not totally with it because I'm not feeling all that great and I'm not I'm out of sorts I guess and okay wasn't thinking properly I hope I didn't screw anything up well it's, it's not like we have any money to give them anyway what, can what are they, they going to do, do? <laughs> what are they going to do it, take my dogs they going to open an account in our name <laughs> I, I don't think they'll they'll be able to pull that one off because my credit is trash no. <laughs> you know they can't get much from us so. <laughs> And Kevin went to the post office today to mail some stuff for me, and we got a Christmas card from Dawn Robinson, which is Daily Rambles on YouTube. It's our first Christmas card this Yay. year. It says, Merry Christmas, and it's got a picture of Santa Claus. Oh, I thought it was a picture of me. Kind of looks like you. Yeah. Yeah. Just let your beard grow. And, uh huh. Eat a little more. 
May your Christmas be filled with beautiful moments and happy memories. Dawn, Greg, and Digger. Thanks, Yay. guys. I gotta figure out where we're gonna put all our Christmas cards this year. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing? <laughs> I'm doing just peach keen, jelly bean. And coloring a Christmas ornament on a black background. Groovy, man. It's all red right now, but I'm going to put some gold in it, and then the outside I think I'm going to make green and gold. Cool. Yeah. Yuppers. I mailed out everybody's Christmas coloring Christmas card with Valerie today. Yep. So when you get your Christmas cards, here's what you have to do. Okay. You have to color the f what's left on the front, what's left on the back, and on the back it says colored by Valerie from the neighbors and put your name. Then you either need to take pictures of it or a video of it, send it to me via email, and it's going to go up on one video once I get everybody's back, and then I'm going to have the community vote on them, and the winner is going to receive a coloring book. Yay. As a prize. Yay. Yep, yep, yep. So if you have any questions on how that works, just ask and I'll be happy to go over it with you again. So, everybody's went out today. So it should be fair. Oh. Oh. I took a little bit of a nap today, not much, but yeah, I'm not going to get much coloring done tonight because I feel very, very tired. I do too, and I don't know why. Yeah. So, anyway, we are going to go ahead and call it. Do you have anything to add, baby? Nope. No? Nope. Nothing? Nothing. Not a? Not a thing. Nothing at all? <laughs> Nothing. All right. Can't say I didn't give them the opportunity, guys, because I did. So, we're going to go ahead and call it an evening. We hope you enjoyed a little bit of something that you may have seen in our video today. If you did, please give us a favorite. Please give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. I am getting caught up on those. And we will be doing shout outs on Sunday. Please share our video with your family and friends. That is the best way to spread the word about the neighbors. And that'll help us to grow. But, most of all, please subscribe. And we will see you guys all Ho, 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 ho.